What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Neil Duffy and this is MI Floridian. Uh, this is gonna be house update number two. I'm out here at the house by myself. Um, there's been a lot of issues. <laughs> to say the least, there's been a lot of issues. Um, a couple of weeks back, my old man and I were told, okay, the house is ready to rock. Let's, uh, let's get the appliances hooked up so we can do the final inspection and we'll be good to go. We have a certificate of occupancy. My old man and I, I rent a U-Haul, load up all my brand new appliances, drive them all the way out here from the villages, about an hour drive. And uh, yeah, we get to the house. I walk inside, there's carpet people here and they're looking around and I don't think they realized that I was the homeowner. I think they thought that maybe I was just the appliance drop-off guy, but we go in the house and they start grumbling and getting all upset. And they looked at my dad and they were like, we're the clean, we're the carpet guys, not the cleanup crew. There's debris everywhere, just piles and piles of material. And it was a mess to say the least. So they literally did a walkthrough in the house and said, peace i'm out <laughs> while i'm standing in my house thinking "Ooh, carpet's going in today well that's that's not the least of it uh we're walking through doing our thing kind of you know it's my first time in the house since they've done inside work i quickly realized it looks like eight-year-olds put my house together with cardboard and duct tape Maybe a little bubble gum here and there. Needless to say, I was not happy at all. Uh, that was, I think we're going on three weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, there's been a lot of back and forth. I demanded a meeting with the owner of the company who built the house, the construction company, uh, my construction manager, and the salesman who we met at the lot and designed our house with i got some guy who is a crony for the people who did the drywall that's all i got so it, it's been a struggle i wish i had good things to say about my builder right now but i don't unfortunately um they've not made this process easy unfortunately and as of today today is october 21st and I have officially today been in Florida for one full year. We started this process in April of 2022, literally. And it's now October of 2023. I'm still not in my house, but there is a positive. There is progress. There is some fixes. Unfortunately, there was a uh, not even a miscommunication, frankly, just a, a disregard. Um, I, I kind of feel like I'm not a priority, which kind of angers me a bit, but I'm not gonna spend this whole intro complaining. I will just say that uh, the manufacturer, the factory, uh, they got me in contact with a guy who is supposed to come out and look at the, the damage to the sink in the kitchen the damage to the counters all the major damage um, the drywall and paint guy already went through he did some work but he's got to come back i'm i'm happier but he's got to come back um but yeah the guy that's supposed to replace all the major things including cabinets and sinks that are ruined um i was told that he was supposed to meet me here this tuesday I couldn't get a hold of him for the life of me. Finally, he calls me Monday night around seven o'clock. He says, oh, Mr. Duffy, I'm sorry. I can't, can't make it. I gotta finish this project by the 18th. Can I meet you out there on Friday? Yeah, no problem, man. I get it. Deadlines, etc. I can wait a couple of days. It's not that big of a deal. It is what it is. Thursday comes along. Oh, you gotta see this, this lizard. I don't even know. Nope. Oh, he. 
there was a lizard on a on a flower and he's like hanging on by his <laughs> barely hanging on anyway um he calls me thursday night i'm supposed to meet him friday morning this past friday yesterday he calls me thursday night oh i gotta reschedule no i'm sorry no nothing he's all monotone he's all i'm sure he he had just gotten it from his boss or something but i gotta reschedule for monday well thinking of all the things that i've gone through in this process so far i just my brain i literally just went i was silent and then i was like so when are we gonna meet he's like we gotta reschedule for monday i'm like so now my house that i've been waiting for for over a year i is being delayed again well yeah i gotta finish this other job blah 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 i finished the one job and they got it i gotta go and do this one because there's this inspection blah and i'm like look man I'm waiting on my final inspection and I'm not getting that final inspection until all my stuff is done and you're delaying my family getting into the, my house and I've been waiting over a year. And he's like, well, unfortunately the priority is finishing this. I go, oh, so I'm not a priority. I understand now. And he literally goes, well, there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. And I'm like, that's a wonderful message to hear from someone representing your builder. So, we have yet to take legal action. Uh, we've got some, we've got, you know, processes and whatnot in our back pocket come Monday. And who knows, there may be some added footage from Monday. If I meet him out here and I'm not happy, uh, I think it's time for legal action. But, I did just pull up. I'm on my way to go bow hunting, which hopefully there will be a video for that. We'll find out. It's been kind of slow. But uh, I brought the camera. I'm going to show you guys around. There have been some positive changes since being out here for the appliances a couple of weeks ago. I did not leave the appliances here. And in fact, my old man and I got the U-Haul stuck because we have nothing but sand. Uh, we spent three and a half hours getting the the u-haul unstuck from my driveway uh a big thank you to my neighbor dan uh he brought his tractor and this is the best part about living in the country is your neighbors are are there for you so thank you very very much dan if you watch this for whatever reason he drove his tractor from the other side of the subdivision i guess it's not really a subdivision but he drove his tractor all the way down here and dragged our, our U-Haul out, saved us. So I really appreciate that. And that's one of the reasons why I love moving to the country and having property. But uh, I can see I'm already at like eight and a half minutes here. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to show you the house. First, we'll go inside and I'll show you some stuff. All right. So obviously the front door. Here's the view from the front door. We're kind of high up, but I like it. It's okay. The house isn't on stilts, but it's definitely up about four feet. So from my front porch, I left all this growth here because I wanted some sort of privacy screen. I will have to cut some of that back, obviously, probably another 10, 15 feet, but there's 80 feet from the building to the street. You can see my little clown car way over there. That's our driveway, but I like having this nice screenage of privacy. Leave me alone. Get off my lawn. All right, so we're going in the house. And yes, we finally have power. It's gonna be echoey, but here we are. This is, I guess, the living room. I don't know what you would call it living room grand room whatever nice big spacious leads right into the kitchen which is a nice giant open space this space is probably bigger than the house we moved from in michigan i wish i had footage of the old house i'm sure if i went back to michigan and knocked on the door they'd let us check it out but anyway here's the view and of course 
it leads right into the kitchen, which we'll come back to that. Um, there's the hallway down to the three bedrooms and the bathroom. And here's our bedroom. We got a little bit of an accent color going on. One wall brownish. The rest of the walls are like this green, earthy, desaturated green. Nice neutral carpet, white trim. Uh, these blinds are super cool. Um, I've never seen blinds like this. I'm like, they didn't put the strings in the blinds. No, you just grab onto them and lift it. And if you want them down, you just pull them down. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. I'm easily amused. Um, but this is a nice big old master bedroom. Obviously we'll have a TV up there. We got a big old walk-in closet. Uh, we'll, we'll have to put light fixtures in, no big deal. But we're more than likely gonna put the, the bed on this wall. And I've got plenty of uh, light in here. It's real nice. This is a first for me. I've never had a master suite of any sort for my house. Um, when I lived with my parents for a little while, um, I did have a room in the basement with a bathroom, but it was nothing this big. The shower was awesome for sure. But we have this big old open bathroom. Like I could probably put a blow up mattress on the floor and have someone sleep in here or just sleep in the tub. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's not a jet tub. Annie didn't want a jet tub, but it's a nice big tub Ryan can swing laps in. And uh, there was another block window wall in one of the show models for this house. We opted to keep it out. I don't remember why. It could have just been a cost cutting thing. Uh, nice little linen closet right there. And my shower is not anything grand, but we did opt for the kind of upgrade to the shower with seats in it because those of you who know me well know about my uh, ankle issues. I uh, Lots of skateboarding mishaps, mosh pit mishaps. I've broken my ankle seven times. And so when I come home from conventions and stuff, it's kind of hard for me to even get up and walk. Like I have to have crutches. Um, I can't put any pressure on my left leg. So when I'm in the shower, that's dangerous. It only lasts about a day or two and then I'm good to go. But at, like I said, it's dangerous in a shower. So I have those seats in there for those days that I can't necessarily stand in a shower and be stable. All right, onto the closet. There are still a number of issues going on in this closet, uh, namely, this big old crack, whatever fissure in the wall there. Um, there was an optional skylight up here. I, we didn't need a skylight. What do you need a skylight in your closet for? Whatever, but nice spacious, big old walk-in. Probably put the gun safe over here. This will probably end up being my side and then this rest will be Annie's. Neither of us are very, what's the lack, or what's the word I want to use? Not fashionable, I mean, she's fashionable. I just wear death metal shirts, camo and fishing shirts, but we don't need a ton of room. So that's a big walk-in closet for us. All right, so onto the kitchen. Obviously, this would be our fridge area, um, nice big pantry. I'm really excited about the pantry. <laughs> There's so much space. In our old house, we literally had like that. That's our, our cabinet tree at the old house. Got this like kind of, uh, I don't know, coffee bar, whatever you want to do there. Nice giant cabinets. Of course, that's where the stove goes. We're gonna get rid of that hood, probably do something different. 
lots and lots and lots of cabinets and I love it. I love it. But uh, dishwasher, we did do a little customization in the kitchen as far as one, we didn't want a door wall here, so we got rid of the door wall. Um, I don't know if that was a good move or not, but we'll see. I just figured because we're so high up, why would I want a door wall? Because then I'd have to build an elevated patio and I don't necessarily want that. The other thing is we got rid of the island that was proposed for this build and we basically made a flat top. They had a two tiered island that was L shaped and we wanted a nice big surface that if we ever have like people over, we can just, you know, do everything here. There was an option to have a sink in here. I kind of regret not doing that now that I'm looking at it. Um, that would have been a perfect, perfect opportunity. So kind of a mistake on my my fart. Yes, on my fart, on my part. But uh, again, tons of storage. Plus I love the fact that we have outlets on it. Those face plates are gonna have to change though. Lots of storage. And of course a little snack bar. We're having friends over, family, whoever. We got a nice big area for a dining table and then kids can sit here, whatever, or just a big old buffet. Um, it's perfect. Or my cousin Derek and I can play a game of Warhammer up here. I'm sure my wife would love that. <laughs> There's a shot of the living room. We got it all wired up for TV and whatnot. Now down the hallway. So, like I said, there's still some issues that need to be resolved. Like the workmanship on this register, that all needs to be fixed, cleaned. That's not. All right, so future Duff here. Uh, unfortunately, somehow I lost audio uh, given it is mid-February right now. So I have no idea what happened to my footage, but here's a couple of pictures the first one being that register and you can see it's quite chewed up and uh it just it, it doesn't look very pretty at all there's a lot of issues with gaps and uh just poor poor workmanship and then the second picture here is essentially the shelving in our closet uh basically the shelving looks like they mudded the walls, did the walls all up, and then tried to put the shelving in and realized, oh, we didn't measure properly. No big deal. We'll just chisel out a gap and leave it. Just kind of shove the, the shelving in there. And all three shelves looked like this. So sorry about the footage loss. Let's get back to the tour. And here's the little guy's shower and bath. Um, nothing grandiose here, just a basic shower and bath. All right, let's move on, show you the bedrooms. So I guess since we're on the subject of Ryan, we opted to let Ryan have the big bedroom. I wanted this to be my office, but you know what? The kid's gonna be growing up in this house. I wanna make sure he has plenty of space. And it's also in the opposite end of our, our bedroom. So homeboy's going to be able to grow up and feel like he has his own little retreat where he doesn't have to deal with us if he doesn't need to. Great little side lot view for him. Big old window. You can see it leaves a lot of light. <clears throat> He's got a decent closet, but I mean, he doesn't need that much. That's one bedroom, nice big bedroom. Here's our guest room, kind of small, but that's okay. It, its purpose is literally just so that friends and family can come and visit, spend the night, have a place to live, or live, sleep, without having to buy a hotel or whatever if they don't want to. And last but not least, the third bedroom, which is going to actually be my office, my streaming studio. Annie's gonna have her set up in here too. It's not a ton of space. My retail stuff is going to need a place to live. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as like space goes. I might put like display cabinets here or something. I can't decide. I gotta build it from scratch again, but I'm thinking either here or over here. I kind of like this idea better because I like being able to see out the window. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But lots of lighting or lots of um, power sockets, energy, whatever the hell they're called. Um, and then my cable runs. And that's the office. I did flooring in here instead of carpet because I'm gonna be in a computer chair. I'm gonna be wheeling around in the room and I don't want to have to deal with carpet. At my old house, my chair broke and actually ended up tearing a hole in the carpet. So we don't want that. Last but not least, this is the laundry room. And there's still a number of issues in the laundry room. What the heck is that sticker for? Um, yeah, there's a number of issues in here. It, it, it's a laundry room. It is what it is. I did not know that we opted for a cottage door. And if you can see the difference, I mean, my dad's six foot two, six foot three, and he almost hits the top of this. I'm six foot even. And you can see, it's not very tall. That was my mistake. I was the one that basically picked out all the goodies for the house, so, oops. It is what it is. Um, some of the other issues that we've had is like, it's minor, right? But this is my brand new house and my sink has dings and dents and scratches and stuff, you know? Like these, these little things are just unacceptable when you're paying this much for a house. Things like this weird beading on the bottom of my cabinets. Like they're, they're builder grade cabinets, I get that, but I'd rather not have that. I would rather that just be gone. Um, the other thing is the wall has texturing. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like whoever was painting it had an issue with their spray gun and just said, oh well, and just went to town. The other issues I have are things like, if you look at the, the wall here, it's not even close to square. It goes inward like this for God knows what reason. It twists, it does all kinds of stupid stuff up there. And when we first came in, there was a massive crack going down the ceiling. Now you can see they patched it. It's not the best job in the world. I get it, there's not much you can do. He said he was gonna strap it with like some metal mesh and then tape over it three times and um, mud it. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to accept or not accept. It, it doesn't make me happy, but the other issue is things like this wall. Like you can clearly see right here where they just taped over this joint in the drywall and didn't do anything to fix it. Inconsistencies, like all of these different weird textural inconsistencies on the joint, I'm not happy about it. These are the things that bother me the most. See if they fix the walls. Okay, so they did a very basic fix in the corner here, but this wall was literally separating. I'll try and throw a picture in but this wall is literally separating. So there are still some issues. Looks like they messed up my carpet too. Yep, there's crap all over my carpet. So there's still a number of things that are bothering me about the house. Um, looks like a lot of the issues have been addressed, but some of them have been completely ignored again. Just obvious joining. The wall prep is just atrocious, so. Hey, Future Duff here again. So, 
I don't know what happened to this video. I don't know what happened to half my footage, but I still wanted to put it out there because at the time you could clearly see my emotion in making this video. I was pretty heated. Um, we're obviously in the house now. Uh, it's February 19th of 2024. That was shot October, I think I said. Um, it took us a month to get into this house after that video was recorded. The, the amount of work that had to be done just three times I had to have the builder come back. And I will say that in kind of going back in my brain now, um, the crews that made things right here finally after the third time, uh, they were whole different crews and they were great. They were great to work with. Um, I just wish those crews were the first crews to come in and work on the house. It's just, it, the whole process was quite absurd and I, it'll never, I'll never forget sitting at the closing table with my wife at the builder's office and the builder, I, I legit, the builder straight up as we're signing papers was like, well, we know there were some hiccups here and there, but uh, we sure hope you'll give us a good review on Google Review. I'm like, you really are asking me to give you a good review right now? Um, I'm not going to put the builder out there right now. Uh, I don't feel like my audience is big enough for it to even matter. Uh, but things are better. Things are much better. Um, I'm going to make a third update because there's a lot going on in the house. Uh, we've lived in the house for 90 days, something like that, whatever. We moved in Thanksgiving week. So um, I have tons to update. There's stuff going on outside. There's all kinds of stuff. So there will be a third update soon. But uh, until then, I wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on and uh, obviously getting into a new house, it gets busy, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on. Plus, I'm back to work full time as far as the impending duff side of things, you know, painting little miniatures and stuff like that. I also did end up taking a um, part time job. I'm working in the gaming side of my business. That's where I make my full time income. Hopefully one day I can make an income from this channel, but um, I did take my first non-self-employed job in eight years. Uh, I'm working part-time as a social media community and um, sponsored team manager for one of my sponsors from the impending Duff side of things. But, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is around here. I say that a lot. It is what it is, but... We're in the house, we're living, we're happy. Um, not necessarily happy with our builder or the process. And there are still a number of things that need to be addressed. But we're here, we're happy, and it's sunny outside. So thanks so much for watching the channel, gang. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, please hit the like. Uh, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more homestead videos, I also obviously do hunting and fishing as well. Um, Maybe the third video will will incorporate the family a little bit into kind of giving you some updates and whatnot. But till next time, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys a ton.